www.thepetsforest.com. It has been a few months since after the war with the Pride Land at the Pride Lands with Zira. Ever since Kiara's wisdom taught the outsiders about Simba, what Simba never saw, Kiara and Kovu were the next king and queen in line for the throne, as Simba and Nala were both given the throne to them in the future. Morning was arriving in the Pride Lands as Azu flew over Pride Rock, rock to, for the morning report. Simba was out on the Pride Rock, stretching and smiled when he saw Zazu. Good morning, your majesty. Zazu began with his morning report. I'm here for the morning report. What's the report today, Zazu? Simba asked as he shook his mane in the air. Well, Simba, the zebras and the gazelles are finally sharing their land. Land, Zazu sighed. It was a riot yesterday when they were fighting over it. At least I was there to settle things. Simba replied as his mate, Nala, walked up to him and nudged him. Hey, Nala. He turned to see Nala hugging him. Morning, Simba, Nala said to her mate. The lionesses have gone hunting to bring back breakfast. Kiara and Vitani have gone with them. Kovu would like to speak to you when you have a minute. Okay, Nala, tell Kovu to come up here, Simba suggested as Nala nodded Nid, and went back inside the pride rock again. Kovu? Nala called as the young future king rolled over from being on his back, only to be alerted that Nala had called him. Simba says you could come outside to see him. Perfect. That'll be easier, Kovu replied as he walked outside the pride to be with Simba on Pride Rock. You wanted to see me? Simba asked Kovu. To he was making sure that there was nothing wrong with his son-in-law. Yes, I did, Kovu replied. And don't worry, nothing is wrong. Simba, so there's nothing to worry about. It's the Outlands. What's going to become of that land? Oh, that? Simba asked as he glanced over the Outlands in the distance. He then looked back at Kovu. It's going to be a long, very, very long time before it becomes part of the Pride Lands. That's because there's little to no life there. Ever since Kiara convinced the outsiders to be with us, things have been going good, Kovu replied as Timon and Pumbaa showed up. Hey guys! Simba greeted his childhood friends. What you doing? We've collected some grubs, Timon said, replied as he munched on a worm. Kovu was grossed out by the fact that Timon and Pumbaa ate, eat bugs. Ew, Kovu said in disgust. You two eat bugs? Yep, we do, Timon said as he fed a worm to Pumbaa. You should give it a try shot, Kovu. It wouldn't hurt to try, Pumbaa added. It's good to try new things, Kovu. I didn't like them myself as a cub until I tried it, Simba reassured Kovu as the young prince took a beetle and stared at it. Has Kiara liked bugs? Kovu asked. Not really. It's fine if you don't like it, Simba replied as Kovu put the beetle in his mouth and began to chew. He, it did he did have a sour look on his face, but he enjoyed it. Kovu swallowed the beetle and realized that the food was good and what he was missing out on. Hey, it doesn't taste so bad, Kovu said in amazement. Just then, Kiara and Vitani, along with the other lionesses, showed up from their hunt. They had brought back a zebra carcass for everyone to chow down on. Simba was delighted to eat his breakfast. Vitani and I brought this zebra down to the ground, Kiara said to her father. She and Vitani were both proud of themselves. Impressive, Kiara. One day you and Vitani will be excellent hunters, Simba replied. But we're already ex excellent hunters, Simba, Vitani replied. I know. Simba chuckled with a laugh. I was just teasing. As Simba and his family with the other lionesses were chowing down on their breakfast, an unknown outsider was watching them from behind the bushes. So that's who Simba is, eh? The outsider lioness asked herself. She had a light tan fur with a stripe on her head with red eyes. She was one of Zira's sisters. She had ran away, away from the Outlands shortly before Zira had died. The outsider lioness was alone. She didn't have a pride to go to after Zira's pride turned against her when Kiara broke up the war. And she wanted to get back at Simba and his daughter Kiara for it. So then she decided to show up if Kiara or Kovu was outside of Pride Rock. I'll get you for this, Kiara and Kovu, and you'll regret this. The outsider lioness then took off back into the Outlands. 
When it was mid-afternoon, Kova was out on Pride Rock and he needed to ask Simba a question. So he uh, walked up to Simba, who was watching over Pride Lands. Hey Simba, will it be okay if I ask you something? Kovu asked. I'm just not sure about something. But, sure Kovu, what's up? Simba asked and replied with a question. I'm just worried, not sure about something. Kovu began as he sighed. What if I'm not ready to be king? I know that I'm with Kiara and I love her, but what if I'm not ready to be king? With that said, Simba patted Kovu's back with his paw. That time will come when you'll have to step up, Kovu. But I'm sure you'll do great as king, Simba replied. Then Sc when Scar killed my father, he blamed my the death of my father on me. Really? But you didn't kill your father? For Kov Kovu said in disbelief. He did, but as I got older, I found out that Scar had lied. He was the one who killed my father. It was the reason why he wanted to be king, so he exiled me as a cub, Simba began. Since I was exiled, Nala told me to go back to the Pride Lands and become king, but I had to challenge Scar and throw him off of the throne. You became came at king after Scar was defeated, and you didn't want to be king after that? Kovu asked. I was about to say no to that, but when my father told me to take his place as king, I knew I had to do it. And right now, I'm doing a great job as king, Simba told Kovu. When your time come, comes, me and Kiara will be taking over, right? Kovu asked, as Simba ruffled fold Kovu's mane. That's right, young prince, Simba said playfully as he and Kovu began to roughhouse. Kovu began tackling Simba playfully at this point, and he definitely needed a guy friend who could roughhouse with, which Simba was okay with that. Father? Kiara called as Simba got up, up to see that he, his daughter had called him. What's up, sweetheart? Simba asked. Zazu mentioned that the wildebeests are on a stampede. It's only on another side of the Pride Lands. Kiara warned Simba. You might want to go see what's going on, and please be careful. Zazu, take me to the stampede, Simba called out to Zazu as he and Simba both left on the mission. When Simba and Zazu left Pride Rock, Kiara walked up to her mate Kovu and sat beside him. The two lions looked around the Pride Lands. Kiara suddenly nuzzled un Kovu under his mane as the young prince ki kissed Kiara's head. What's on your mind, Kovu? Kiara asked. Kiara, it's just... Kovu began, but trailed off. Kovu, if something is wrong, I need to know, Kiara replied. Ko okay, Kovu began. I've just been having bad thoughts. Like, what if I'm not good at being king, and the choices I make, I just feel that that I don't think I'm ready to be king, Kovu explained to Kiara. Kovu, you'll become king once my dad passes on, Kiara replied, and I have a feeling that you'll do great as king. Just don't let the bad thoughts get to you. And what I would do is think of the positive sides. Like, one thing is you'll have everything the light touches, Kiara reassured Kovu with a smile. I'll sure have to follow Simba's paw prints to, on being king. Thanks for the advice, Kiara, Kovu replied as he was walking down Pride Rock. Where are you off to? Kiara asked. I'm going to be on patrol. I'll let you know if I, if something is wrong, Kovu replied as he left Pride Rock. Kiara turned to see her mother, Nala, sitting beside her. The young prince is worried about being king. King, the next king? Nala asked her daughter. She's have, He's having bad thoughts on it. Like he's worried that he won't be a good king, Kiara explained. I suggested to him to think of the positive side, and I think he's nervous. Your dad was like that before he became king. It was was back when your great uncle Scar killed your grandfather, Sim Nala began. Simba didn't want to go back back because he thought that he killed his father, but the real truth is that Scar killed your grandfather. It was all because he wanted to be king, and he didn't want my dad to become the next king, Kiara added with the conversation with Nala. That's right, my dear. But Simba challenged Scar and took the throne. And look at him now. He's taking responsibility and he's enjoying being king. Nala replied, I'm sure Kovu will come around to the idea eventually, Kiara said to Nala. I have a feeling that he will, Nala reassured Kiara when Vitani walked up on Pride of the Rock. She looked to see that Kovu wasn't anywhere on Pride Rock and she was looking for him. Hey, have you girls seen Kovu? 
Vitani asked Kiara and Nala. I haven't seen him since this morning. Do you know where he went? He told me he was going to be on patrol, Kiara replied. It's just... Vitani began with a sigh. I have... I have a bad feeling that something's out there. What do you mean by that, Vitani? Nala asked. She along with Kiara were both confused. Like, I... What I mean is, I just have a bad feeling that something bad is going to happen. Vitani replied. Vitani, we've been finished with Zira a few months ago. So I don't think anything else bad could happen. Maybe a lion trying to take over, we could bring it down. Kiara said as she was trying to cheer up her sister-in-law. I just sense someone's in this in the pride in the pride lands, and I gotta warn Kovu. Vitani took off running thing in the pride lands to find find her brother. Kiara and Nala were both more confused. Why would she want to find Kovu? Kiara asked Nala. I don't know, sweetheart. Whatever it is, it must be important. Nala replied. Meanwhile, in the pride lands, Kovu was patrolling the lands. Lands, as he ha he was alone, he had to make sure that no riots was happening. As he looked around, he spotted a pair of red eyes from the bushes. However, Kovu didn't realize that his sister Vitani was following him. She had been hiding, so Kovu wouldn't know that she was following him. She then saw a pair of red eyes a couple feet away from Kovu. The red eyes looked familiar to Vitani, but she w but it wasn't sure who it could be. Kovu turned around to see a pair of eyes and wondered if somebody was really there. Is someone there? Kovu asked as the light tan lioness tried to pounce on pounce on Kovu, but but she was pushed back by Vitani just in time. Vitani had leaped in from the bushes and defended Kovu just in time. The light tan lioness groaned while she was on the ground. Don't you dare hurt my brother! Vitani snarled as the light tan lioness got up from being pushed. Just as the lioness got up, Vitani and Kovu realized that it was one of Zira's sisters, Scarlet. Lit. Kovu growled as he looked up at his aunt in rage. Kovu, Vitani, the outsider lioness, Ness, Ness said as she remembered her niece and nephew from Zira's pride. Well, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Scarlet, what are you doing in the pride lands? Kovu asked. He wasn't really in the mood for any of his aunt's antics. I'm just here to spy on Simba, the king of the Pride Lands. Scarlet began as she walked to close to Kovu and Vitani. You lay upon my brother and you'll regret it, Vitani growled. Shut up! Scarlet yelled at Vitani. She did have a loud voice, like a combination of Scar and Zira's voices. Scar was king when Mufasa was killed, and he did a decent job as king. From what we have heard, Scar murdered Simba's father. Kovu growled in anger. He shouldn't have he should have been killed as well. Scarlet then shouted at Kovu. When Simba exiled us into the Pride Lands, your mother wanted to take back what was ours. Simba is the rightful king. You will not get the throne. Kovu hissed. Zira wanted to kill Simba until his daughter Kiara got to the outsiders on her, her side. Zira died because she didn't want to accept Kiara's wisdom. I then I went and ran off since I couldn't save Zira in time. Scarlet snarled as, as she walked around Vitani and Kovu in a circle. If Simba finds out about you, he is not going to be very friendly about it. Kovu warned Z Scarlet. Very well. I'll get Simba for this and your mate Kiara. Scarlet replied as Kovu roared at her. You lay upon her. And I promise I won't be so nice about it, Kovu said as Scarlet walked away until she was out of the Pride Lands. Now our aunt wants to kill Simba? Vitani asked in shock. We have to warn Simba about this and protect Kiara. We have to warn everyone in the Pride Lands. We could all be in danger if we don't, Kovu began as he, as he looked up to see that Scarlet came from the Outlands. Let's go warn everyone at Pride Rock about this. I'm worried for Kiara's safety. With that said, Kovu and Vitani both headed back to Pride Rock to warn everyone about the danger. Why, hello there, my little pretties. It's me, the Shadow Lioness. I hope you all enjoy my video of creepypasta. So, without further ado, if you like the video, please leave a like. 
And if you want to survive my cave of terror, please hit the subscribe button down below. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Donate to my Patreon when you can. And the only way you're going to survive me in the cave is you're going to have to sub to me and press the bell for notifications so you'll get to know when I upload. <laughs> well, without further ado, my little pretties, I'll see you in the next video.